come back unless Giga Beef makes a huge mistake. And now he's going up to this harvester too, so uh, it might be GG right here. Now he can wall off this side and see if he can get in this bunker in time. And he does, so he should be okay. He's got bears filling his base, so he can't spam more infantry here. These tanks are going to be hard for him to deal with. One thing that Gigabee could definitely be doing is making some air right now. Um, I am the Eggman doesn't have nearly enough money to be making any chopper VXs, so a couple NG twin blade drops or flak drops would really do him a lot of good. One thing that I've been doing a lot lately is engineer drops because there's no way for them to get the harvester out from harvesting to the other side of the refinery in time, and then you can just you know pick the engineer back up and go for something else. Usually get them to sell a bunch of buildings. Oh, uh, his MCV's locked. It's this is it right here. Um, I think Giga Beast did a good job in the very beginning, and that's really the only time that um, Empire is the most dangerous. That infantry spam can easily run you over at the start, but if you if you just scout scout the barracks cores or the dojo cores and make flak troopers fast after only one or two bears, you should be okay. lifts the MCV up, so it was going to die anyway, but still cool. So yeah, this has been pretty one-sided for a while now, but... Eggman's doing everything he can. When he first got that mainframe core up, he really didn't do anything with it. He could have at least made one of the Empire Tier 3 Wave Force defenses, and that would have forced Giga Beef to either attack this base or go Tier 3. Um, so yeah, the mainframe just ended up being a huge waste of money when that really could have helped him. And yeah, he's attacking with infantry when there's an airfield right there, so he pretty much knew that he would have nothing to counter a twin blade ahead of time, and it's, it's going to do as much damage as he can. He should really run into this garrison at least or something, but it doesn't really make a difference. This game's been over. But yeah, the main thing against Empire is just be very careful at the start of the game, scout the dojo cores, make sure they don't bring in any from the side, and then um, as Soviets you can really just play defense, you know, protect your main base with defense, um, put flags in this, wall some stuff off, and then as soon as your base is protected from Tengu harassment, you've really got the advantage on the ground, and you just have to watch for watch for tier 3 Yuriko or Shoguns and just steamroll the best you can. could probably make a Tesla in here or something just so he doesn't even have to think about it, but it doesn't matter. Giga Beef needs to just uh, press Alt-A. It's, it's nice to get used to the Alt-A, Alt-D. Alt-A is aggressive and Alt-D is normal fire, so if you can get used to switching between those two, it's a lot more helpful than having to click down here or open this tab the whole time. Uh, and he's, 
he's already at his last support power, so. Another thing against Empire that didn't really happen in the beginning because it was mostly an infantry spam start, but when you have terror drones, um, you can really cost effectively kill Tengus because they have to fight your flax one at a time and you can also run them over with MCVs without them having the ability to lift off. So terror drones with infantry is a great mix against Empire if they're not imp spamming. I really don't know how this game is still going on. <laughs> Giga Beef could have won so long ago. He could have just put one hammer tank at each harvester. Um, but I guess he was paying attention up here. Kind of lost sight of things. He still only has two refineries. So I don't think Eggman has a chance. But I don't know. No, he all he has is one barracks he can't even build he lost his mcb so i mean he really has no chance he should have given up a while ago but it's all good Now, all Giga Beef really has to do is spam Twin Blades, <laughs> but no, nah, he's fine. If he wants to be safe, though, he should really just cancel everything and spam Twin Blades. Man, that hurts. They actually just released that 1.09 patch notes today, and that was pretty much the only useful change in it is the smoke signal before that, because a lot of times if a game happened to turn out completely epic, any any army would get sucked up with that mag set, mag singularity combo, so at least adding a smoke signal will make that not happen. And that's game. Uh, good job by Giga Beef in the beginning, countering the infantry spam. I mean, that, that force the Empire played or waste all his money on the early infantry spam and not have any harassment units. And then even though he had a similar economy, that fight up the middle is what did him in. So, let's see. Um, I don't know, resource is the only thing that really matter in these tabs at the end. And it was really close the whole game, but um, Giga Beef was able to keep the unit advantage and not not let Empire get tier 3 so good job and I don't know hopefully I was somewhat helpful but I know it wasn't the most exciting game but um, it did show how to effectively counter Empire in the beginning a turret with sickles is good and you always need a couple bears and that's about it see you guys later